Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, www.drumcenternh.com. This is probably the most uh, anticipated drum set of the year in, for me, and that's the, the Tama Star Walnut. Um, I'm really, really knocked out with what Tama did with the Star line. Uh, and this particular line, the, the Walnut, um, is something they introduced for this year. And it's interesting because it's a straight walled shell with no reinforcement hoops. So you're getting the Tama Star features but at a slightly lower price point um, because the reinforcement hoops that they put on the regular star lines are quite costly so this brings the price down a little bit but it also puts walnut shell in there which is something I adore um, I love walnut snare drums and I've loved any walnut kit I've heard um, this really speaks to me though and the fact that it's a, a straight walled shell and it's vertical grain and the uh, the sound is just very very low. Uh, walnut's a very fundamentally low sounding wood um, and then when you combine it with this it's just super exciting. The one thing I really want to stress about these drums is first it's really important to note that um, you know, the real goal that Tama had with the, this line was uh, and they're not really ashamed to say it is that they wanted to create the best sounding drum set that was ever made. So that's really up to you whether or not that's the case. Um, but to a lot of people, they tend to, uh, to feel that way. And as far as I'm concerned, um, I can't say that there's any one best sounding drum set out there, but I will say that the Star Drums are as good as any drum set I've ever played. Um, and not just in sound, but they could be one of the best feeling drum sets I've ever played. The one, that's one thing that's really important to know. Every drum company has a different feel. The way the stick comes off the head is different on any manufacturer. And the one thing I could say about these drums, and I can really only say this about a couple other drums that I've played, where I love hitting the toms because I feel like the sound is coming at me before the stick even hits the head. It's really re weird. It's just such a responsive sound, responsive feel. It almost takes a minute to really acclimate to it because your playing is going to be a little bit different, uh, maybe even a little bit faster. Um, so another thing to note too is that when you play these things very delicately, they have a beautiful note, beautiful feel. I almost don't want to hit them hard, which is pretty much all I know how to do. Um, but it makes me want to be a better drummer. <laughs> it makes me want to be a little more dynamic and play uh, a little more musically as opposed to the noise that you're about to hear. Uh, but the key features of this kit um, are the, the suspension mount that they have. Um, with a quick release on there, uh, which is they've put over to the floor tom as well. This is some of the coolest stuff out there. The floor tom brackets make me super jealous. I want them on all of my drums. Um, read up on them, but note on the uh, the bass drum claws how nice and small they are. They really just went to every detail they could to make this incredible sounding kit. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's really just beautiful. We've got a Starphonic maple snare with a map of Bavinga uh, veneer, and we put some Pisces uh, signatures on here, the medium signature Hi-Hats. These sounded great too. I haven't played these in years, and I just absolutely love them. Dark Energy 18-inch Crash and a 21-inch Dark Energy Mark II ride. They sound beautiful. 